The sighting of at least five great white sharks about a mile offshore kept several Cape Cod beaches closed for the fifth straight day. Fisherman Ron Crisp had his own close encounter. That animal is just so impressive, just the size and the girth of this animal. I mean, he's just right there in six, eight, ten foot of water. The ultimate underwater predator, these great whites are about 10 to 12 feet in length. Sightings here are relatively rare, but the sharks have apparently been drawn here by this hundreds of seals. There are a lot of seals out there and then um, with their seals there are sharks. Of course, great white sharks and Cape Cod are the stuff of Hollywood nightmares. Jaws was filmed in nearby Martha's Vineyard. Even though the last person attacked by a shark off the Massachusetts coast was in the 1930s, <laughs> residents' fears are understandable. Yeah, I was hoping I could see a shark. But not go in swimming with the shark? No. Marine biologists managed to electronically tag five of the animals, a first in the Atlantic. We're going to try to define what their residency is in here in New England and uh, when they leave and where they go. Electronic signals sent to satellites could provide data into the winter. Tagging any sharks can be extremely dangerous. We watched firsthand in July when researchers tagged Caribbean reef sharks. Although this might look uncomfortable to the shark, it's just the pressure that the shark doesn't like. Back on Cape Cod, they don't know how long the sharks will be here, but researchers hope this rare opportunity will help people better understand a largely misunderstood animal. Daniel Seberg, CBS News, New York.